Andrew, should collectors use catalogues to value their stamps? Okay. Oh, that's a difficult one. Um, the first thing to understand about stamp collecting catalogues is, um, and I think might help you to read some of my tips, to be honest with you, um, stamp collecting catalogues depends upon who the publisher is. So the first thing to understand is that publisher, where they're coming from. Well, a Stanley Gibbons catalogue is in actual fact Stanley Gibbons price list. Now that's the price list of the largest stamp company probably in the world and their stamp prices are not going to be cheap. However, at a high end they provide, in my opinion, value for money for more expensive stamps. But for cheap stamps where, say, a catalogue price is a pound or something, they can't be competitive. The, the, the market's just going to undercut. So catalogues is all about relevance. If it's a cheap stamp, just take the catalogue value as being just a measure of this stamp is slightly better than that stamp. A measure of maybe scarcity. But it's not a measure of value. So you can have a stamp collection that catalogues £100,000, and we, we get them sometimes, where, in my opinion, it's not even worth £2,000. That's horrendous. And we've got other stamp collections sometimes we buy, where the catalogue value is £100,000. We paid, relative to catalogue value, 40, even 50% of catalogue value. That's because the stamps are very desirable. We know they're going to sell in a short term. We don't need to make a massive profit margin. So everything is relative. And catalogues, you need catalogues for information. You need catalogues to identify. But don't take it as read that catalogues provide value. They don't. And if you want to do some research, basically, there's a super catalogue that comes from us. And it's free of charge if you're a regular buyer. We don't charge even for the first catalogue. So it's a cr cracking catalogue. Now, that comes any decent postal auction, and there are some postal auctions that are pretty good, but lots of postal auctions will not provide you with prices realised, which in my opinion is a mistake. You want an auction that provides you with a catalogue, and then you can either go online after the auction and get the prices realised, or with the next catalogue comes, you get the prices realised. So you can be monitoring the market. And this catalogue actually tells you, if this lot has been in, here's a lot, it's uh, Ascension, it's a 2012 item, um, Fish is the, the subject, it's been unsold twice. We actually tell you how many times that's been in the catalogue and how many times it's been unsold. Each time that, that item is unsold, we reduce the price. And guess what? We actually keep on reducing the price, reducing the price, reducing the price until it sells or we sell it for nothing. 